Go on then. Right. Steam pressure gauge. Maximum working pressure of 225 pounds per square inch on the red line. Boiler water level gauge. Normally sits between half and towards the top. Yeah, it's just a little bit halfway at the moment. Mm -hmm. Regulator. That's what uh, controls the flow of steam in the accelerator on the car. Yeah, you can go a bit quicker if you want to. <laughs> brake. Okay. Vacuum brake. Um, you normally, to take the brakes off, you build off the vacuum in the pipes and then to put the brakes on, you destroy that vacuum using that lever moving it across. Okay, well, what's this here? That's the lubricator that feeds oil into the pistons and the, the valves. Yeah. Keep them lubricated. Yeah. That's the vacuum brake gauge. For the, the train pipe in the reservoir. Normally when you're running that will be up at around 25 inches. Yeah. That's the what's called the blower control. That it controls the draft of the fire. If you want to put more draft on the fire when you're stationary, you can open that. Yeah, so if the fire starts to go out, you give it a blast yeah. of air and it'll, yeah, yeah, that's it'll just bring it back into that, life that again. Draws air through the fire. Yeah. Over here is what's called the reverser. Yeah which is basically the equivalent of the gearbox on the car. You wind it forward, it gives you forward. Wind it back, it gives you reverse. And it's infinitely variable in terms of gearing it. In effect, it's not yeah. quite like that, but that's what it, in fact you do. You've got a speedometer. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got 100 on it. Yes, this is limited to, on the main line, to 60 miles an hour. To 60? Yeah. I filmed yeah. it before actually, it seems yeah. to go quite yeah. well this look. Okay. Yeah. I've seen it, seen it quite You've got, times. here is the um, TPWS, AWS warning system. When you're on the main line, it's not used on a, on a line like this. It gives you the uh, advanced warning of signals settings. Um, horn. If the signal is at green, bell if the signal is at either yellow or red, and reflected in here, if the signal is green, that turns to all black, the sunflower. Okay. Down there you have the controls for the sanders. Yeah. In um, slippery conditions, you can put sand, feed sand onto the rails ahead of the wheels, both forward and reverse, and they're the two sander controls. So over there you've got the cylinder drain cocks, which you the valves you can open to release any pressure hidden in the cylinder and also to drain water out after you've been standing. Yeah. So you, you the first few seconds of movement you have that open then you flick it shut. These yeah, are the, the damper controls for the fire to control the flow of air in through the, the bottom of the fire. Okay. And that's that's there the damper controls. It's got a lovely fire in there as well. And that's the fire and that's basically the the, just the, 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 yeah, the basic oh, well, here you've got the, the two controls for the in injectors that feed water into the boiler. Okay. Which are these two controls. It's a, it's a Tysley built loco as well, I see. Well, it's not Tysley built, no. No, it's, oh, it's just re it's uh, maintained um, in Tysley. Yes. And these must be, what, these two whistles or just a single whistle there? No, there's two whistles. And there's two, what, is that one, would be one for freight? I don't know. Or, no, or maybe one is what we call, I think they used to call it the emergency whistle, didn't they? Something like that, a brake whistle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mainly for those couple of freight. Yeah. 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 Oh well, yeah, thank you very much, chaps. Just a, there we go, some coal as well. <laughs> a lovely Kinlet Hall.